good afternoon students we are now live again with other listening test as earlier we will discuss this listening test also with full details with we will discuss each and every question in full detail so let's wait for 2 or 3 minutes and let others also join our channel till that i request all of you to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you can get the latest notifications as we post the latest data of ielts and pt on our channel so that you can good get good scores in ielts and pt so uh, again i request to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so we should start now This is the IELTS listening test. You will hear a number of different recordings and you will have to answer questions on what you hear. There will be time for you to read the instructions and questions and you will have a chance to check your work. All the recordings will be played once only. The test is in four parts. At the end of the test You will be given 10 minutes to transfer your answers to the answer sheet. Now turn to part 1. Part 1. You will hear a woman who works in a furniture store taking a telephone order from a man. First, you have some time to look at questions 1 to 5. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions 1 to 5. Good afternoon, Megaquip. This is Sally speaking. How may I help you? Oh, hello. Um I'd like to order some items from your catalog. Yes, are you an existing customer? Uh no, I've only just moved here from South Africa. But I picked up your winter catalog in the city center yesterday. Fine. The winter catalog is our current one. As you're a new customer, I need to take a few details from you. Sure. Your name is Oscar Greening. That's Oscar with a K. O S K A R. Yes. ਵੇਖੋ ਫਸਟ ਦਾ ਆਨਸਰ ਵੇਖਿਆ ਉਹਨੇ ਨੇਮ ਉਹਨੇ ਬੋਲਿਆ ਸੀ ਆਸਕਰ ਗ੍ਰੀਨਿੰਗ ਆਸਕਰ ਆਪਾਂ ਜਿਆਦਾਤਰ ਆਸਕਰ ਪਾਉਣੇ ਆ ਓ ਐਸ ਸੀ ਏ ਆਰ ਪਰ ਉਹਨੇ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲੀ ਮੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਕੀਤਾ ਵੀ ਆਸਕਰ ਵਿਦ ਕੇ ਸੋ ਉਹਨੇ ਵਰਡਸ ਬੋਲੇ ਓ ਐਸ ਕੇ ਏ ਆਰ ਆਸਕਰ ਸੋ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਦਾ ਆਨਸਰ ਹੈਗਾ ਆਸਕਰ ਵਿਦ ਕੇ ਗ੍ਰੀਨਿੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਯੋਰ ਐਡਰੈਸ ਅਮ ਯੋਕ ਟੈਰਸ ਹੀਅਰ ਇਨ ਦ ਸਿਟੀ ਯੈਸ ਵਾਟ ਨੰਬਰ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਫਲੈਟ ਨੰਬਰ 52C ਵੇਖੋ ਐਡਰੈਸ ਸੈਕਿੰਡ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਨੇ ਐਡਰੈਸ ਬੋਲਿਆ ਯੋਰਕ ਟੈਰੇਸ ਉਹਦਾ ਫਲੈਟ ਨੰਬਰ ਹੈ ਗਿਆ 52C ਸੋ ਆਪਾਂ ਇੱਥੇ ਪਾਵਾਂਗੇ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਉੱਥੇ ਵਨ ਵਰਡ ਐਂਡ ਔਰ ਆ ਨੰਬਰ ਹੈ ਸਿਰਫ ਫਿਰ ਆਪਾਂ ਇੱਥੇ ਕੀ ਪਾਵਾਂਗੇ 52C ਇਹਦਾ ਆਨਸਰ ਆ ਜਾਊਗਾ 52C ਤੇ ਅੱਗੇ ਹੈਗਾ ਯੋਰਕ ਟੈਰੇਸ C ਕੋਸ ਥੈਟ ਐਂਡ ਵੁਡ ਥੈਟ ਬੀ ਦ ਸੇਮ ਐਡਰੈਸ ਫॉर ਡਿਲੀਵਰੀ Um no actually I'm out all day but my neighbor can take delivery at number 5 York Avenue it's just round the corner We could not delivery address puchya oh kana ohne apna delivery address ditta apne neighbor da oh neighbor da delivery address hai gaya number 5 York Avenue so third da answer aa jayega avenue a v e n u e avenue Okay, fine. Number 5. I've got that. And will you be paying by debit card or credit card? Well, uh I don't have any cards yet. 
I'll have some shortly, but I want these things this week, if possible. Uh, could I come to the store and pay cash in advance? Well, I guess so. I have a payment. I have a card. 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 I'll make a note. I'm afraid that payment method doesn't entitle you to a discount. No, I, I didn't expect one for that. But what about my address? It says on the cover of the catalogue... Oh yes, you're right. Of course, York Terrace is within the city, so you get free delivery and 5% discount on your order. We have free delivery and we have order of 5% discount. किस कारण मिल रहे हैं फाइव परसेंट डिस्काउंट क्योंकि जो एड्रैस है जोड़ा वह विद इन दी सिटी आ जिते वह शॉप आ उस सिटी के बच्चे ही घर है वह एड्रैस उ विद इन द सिटी सो फिफ्थ का आंसर की आऊगा सिटी बिफोर यू हेयर द रेस्ट ऑफ द कॉन्वर्सेशन यू हैव सम टाइम टू लुक एट क्वेश्चन सिक्स टू टेन Now listen and answer question 6 to 10. So, what would you like to order? You have our current catalogue, you say? Yes, I need three things for the room where I study. My office, I guess. Um, the most urgent is a desk lamp. Is your catalogue number 664 in stock? 664? That's um, not home office. It's in the living section of the catalog. It is. We could desk lamp jira hai gaya. Catalog the kiri section de vichya. Oh hai gaya living de vichya. Lag lag tarah de section bani hundre. Jame niche deta hai home office the commercial. Usi tarah de desk lamp ko kiri section de vichya. Living section de vich. So sixth dan sir aajuga living. I want a small one that clips onto the edge of the desk. Yes, no problem. In which colour? I'd like the greyish coloured one, please. Oh, you mean the shade we call slate? Yes, it's a nice colour. And um, I wondered, could I get that when I come in to pay, rather than waiting for delivery? I really need to be able to read at night, and the lights in this flat are useless. <laughs> yes, I'm sure that'll be okay. I'll note down that customer will collect. सैवंथ तक ही बोले उन्हें वो कहीं मैं नोट डाउन कर लूँगी वे कस्टमर्स विल कलेक्ट वे कस्टमर्स ने वो कलेक्ट कर लेंगे ओके सो सैवंथ नाम से किया होगा कलेक्ट सी ओ डबल एल ई सी टी व्हाट एल्स डिड यू वांट वेल आई नीड अ चेयर व्हिच गिव्स गुड सपोर्ट व्हेन आई एम यूजिंग माय कंप्यूटर आई सॉ Item number oh um one two nine. Mm, yes. And it's fully adjustable, isn't it? Let me see. Height, yes. Back, yes. I'm not sure about the arms, though. Oh, that could be a problem. I'm very tall. What about one three one on the same page? That has adjustable arms, seat, everything. But can I get that in the same colour? I mean, the green. Like. Look, oh, this chair is not good. What colour do you want to buy? Green. Because the chair is not good. I see which chair arms are adjustable. So, they recommend it. So, they say that I want the same colour of the chair. Which colour is it? Green. So, eight is the answer. Green. Like the one it shows. Oh, they all come in the full range of colours. Okay. So, I'll, I'll go for 131 in green then. Hmm, I think you'll like that. My brother's very tall and he uses one. We can make sure there's one on the delivery van to you early next week. Oh, 
Good, thanks. And so, lastly, I need a filing cabinet for my documents. A little filing cabinet with two drawers. Okay, two drawers. Do you want the ordinary one or the lockable one? It's an extra 20 pounds. Uh, sorry, what's that? You can have it with a lock, which is more secure. Oh, yes, please. देखो उन्हें जी थर्ड आइटम लेनी है वो लेनी है फाइलिंग कैबिनेट कि अपने डॉक्यूमेंट्स सेव करने के लिए वो की आखिर उन्हें मेंशन किया भी टू ड्रार्स होने चाहिए इन्हें तो एक का आखिर भी एक दो तरह के होने एक ऑर्डिनरी होना एक लॉक केबल सो जिधर वो कहने भी जिधर लॉक केबल थोड़ा ट्वेंटी प Two drivers with lock. Okay, so that's number one five three. It doesn't by any chance come in slate, does it? Well, it's similar, but the commercial office furniture doesn't come in so many shades. So it's grey. <laughs> that's right. Fine, that'll do. Now about delivery, the two items will probably come at different times, as we have the chair in stock here, so our van will bring it. As I said, the filing cabinet will be coming direct from London. So today is the 29th of September. Say not more than four days. That'll be delivered on or before the 3rd of October. Require the delivery any items deliver kado honiya on. और बिफोर थर्ड अक्टूबर इतने की पूछने नॉट नो लेटर देन बी थर्ड अक्टूबर तो लेट नहीं होंगे जब ना उदन आ जाएंगे थर्ड अक्टूबर नो जा उस तो पहला भी आ सकती है पर थर्ड थ्री थर्ड अक्टूबर तो लेट नहीं होंगे या सो ये डे टेंथ दान सर आऊँगा ओ क्या आऊँगा थर्ड अक्टूबर ओ सी टी ओ ब I'll drop in tomorrow morning to pay and get the lamp. Um, thanks for all your help. Thank you for your order. Let me know if we can do anything else for you. Thank you. I will. Bye. Bye. That is the end of part one. You now have one minute to check your answers to part one. Part 2 You will hear a man taking a group of tourists around a museum site. First, you have some time to look at questions 11 to 14. This is question 11, 12 and 13 and 14. इधर भी चीज़ क्या ना पाएं 11 दे 12 दे भी चीज़ दो ऑप्शन चूज़ करने ने ते 13 दे 14 दे भी चीज़ दो ऑप्शन चूज़ करने ने एक ऐसे भी ऑर्डर दे भी चीज़ हो सकते ने जो उन्हें ना पाएं सेम ऑर्डर ही लिखना किसी भी ऑर्डर दे भी चीज़ हो सकते ने जिधर 11 दे 12 दे क्वेश्चन देखो विच टू थिंग्स मेक दी म्यूज बी एड़ा कोई केडियां दो चीज़ जन जिन्ना एड़ा म्यूजियम आहो एथे एंड यूसल दो मतलब एगे डिफरेंट बी दुज्यां तो होर म्यूजियम तो भी डिफरेंट बनाओं दिया नाउनू
Now listen carefully and answer questions 11 to 14. <laughs> no problem. Uh, welcome to Brampton Museum. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the museum first and then show you around. As you can see, Brampton is an open air museum. The first open air museums were established in Scandinavia towards the end of the 19th century, and the concept soon spread throughout Europe and North America, and there are several in Britain all of which tell the history of a particular part of the country. Brampton focuses on life during the 19th century. The site was chosen because there were already some historic 19th century buildings here and others have been dismantled in different parts of the region and rebuilt on the site. <laughs> जो ਹੁਣ भी ਹੈਗੀਆਂ ने पर ਕਿ ਇਹ ਕਈ ਵਾਰੀ ਕਈ ਮਿਊਜ਼ੀਅਮ ਨੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹੋਰ ਲੋਕੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕੀ ਕੀਤਾ ਉਹ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਬਿਲਡਿੰਗਸ ਸੀਆਂ ਉਹ ਡੀਮੋਲਿਸ਼ ਕਰਤੀਆਂ ਤੇ ਉੱਥੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਦੁਬਾਰੇ ਰੀਬਿਲਡ ਕੀਤਾ ਕੁਝ ਹੋਰ ਬਣਾ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਪਰ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਇਹ ਬ੍ਰੈਂਪਟਨ ਮਿਊਜ਼ਿਕ ਮਿਊਜ਼ੀਅਮ ਆ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੀ ਆ ਉਹ ਬਿਲਡਿੰਗ ਆ ਸੇਮ ਉਸੇ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਦੂਜੀ ਮਿਊਜ਼ੀਅਮ ਤੇ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਕੀ ਬਣਾਉਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਬਣਾਉਂਦਾ ਦਾ ਬਿਲਡਿੰਗਸ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਉੱਥੇ ਹਿਸਟੋਰੀਕਲ ਬਿਲਡਿੰਗਸ ਨੇ ਪਿਛਲੇ ਸਮੇਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਸੋ ਇੱਕ ਦਾ ਆਪਸ਼ਨ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ D this hadn't been attempted before in these parts, so we're very proud of what we have here. All of the buildings are filled with furniture, machinery and objects. You may be able to see these in other museums, but not in their original settings. What also sets Brampton apart from other museums is that the story of the exhibits is told not by labels, but by costumed staff like myself. एक होर की ओह एक होर जेडी इना नु अनयूजुअल बनाउंदी आ ओ की इना दी ता गाइडेंस बी इना दी हिस्ट्री दस दी आ ओ किस किस नाल दस दी आ ओ जमे अपने इवेंट कर देने शो कर देने दूसरी तरह ने भी एवे हिस्ट्री दस देने उना नु पार्टिकुलर सारा समझाउंदे ने ता करके इना दी गाइडेंस आ ओ की आ डिफरेंट बनाउंदी आ अनयूजुअल बनाउंदी आ दूसरे म्यूजियम्स तो सो एक ऑप्शन की आ गया ए I look after sheep, cows and hens, which are much the same as those you see on modern farms, but I use traditional methods to care for them. You will also be able to see a blacksmith and a printer, as well as other craftspeople. If you talk to them, you'll be able to find out what life was really like 150 years ago. Our program of activities during the year has guided walks, an agricultural fair and all the other events you would expect a museum to have but remember here you experience them in the real surroundings it agla question 13 to 14 ede vich ki hai which two things can visitors do at the museum ve kehdiyan do cheezan ne jo visitors ne oh museum de vich kar sakde ne so vekhde ha apan oh kehdiyan do cheezan ne the site is divided into different areas the main building contains our high street, which is a street of 19th century shops, offices and some homes. There's a stationer's shop which sells a range of specially selected cards, prints and copies of Victorian stationery, all available for purchase by visitors. Upstairs in the same building, a printer demonstrates the production of posters, business cards and advertising material. Across the street from the stationers is a clothes shop and there's a baker's where you can watch a demonstration of someone making bread, cakes and pastries. We also have a sweet shop which has old fashioned sweets for sale. Vintage trams travel along from one end of the street to the other carrying visitors on their journey into the past. We will also be visiting the farm and taking a ride on a steam train. Dekho ik ta hai ga jada ride on a steam train. So ik da option aa gaya C. Oh farm visit karange ta utthe ki hai apa ride le sakange jehdi apni steam train aa. So ik ta option aa gaya C. Of course, the main form of transport in those days was the horse. And you can watch horses being exercised in the old stables. This part of Britain 
was famous for coal mining. And on the site we have part of a mine which opened in 1860 and was worked for over a hundred years before closing in 1963. Visitors can put on a hard hat and take a guided tour underground to see how coal was worked and to experience the working conditions in the early 1900s. एक की है और थेली पहले कोल माइन सी की वो हलेवी है की है तां के लिए विजिटर्स ने की कर सकते हैं वो हार्ड हैट लेके गाइड टूर ते जा सकते हैं वे वेक सकते हैं विडा कोल आउ कैमे प्रोड्यूस होंडा ते की उसे एटमॉस्फेयर आ कोल माइन दे बिच्छ सो एक की है एक तो हो गया सी राइड ऑन ट्रैम ते एक हो गया ई गो डाउन इन आ कोल माइन विडा कोल माइन आउ दे बिच्छ जा सकते हैं विजिटर्स सो ये सी एंड ई आ गए थे आंसर्स थर्टीन एंड फोर्टीन दा Before you hear the rest of the talk, you have some time to look at questions 15 to 20. फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी अपने को है मैप मैप के फस्ट चीज़ अपने की नोट कर डायरैक्शन भी नॉर्थ साउथ ईस्ट एंड वैसट ज लैफ्ट राइट टॉप एंड बॉटम सो जो अपर साइड होंगी है वो हमेशा होंगे नॉर्थ तो नीचे होंगी है साउथ तो जी अपने राइट साइड है वह हैगी ईस्ट तो लैफ्ट साइड होंगी है वैसट Now listen and answer questions 15 to 20. Now, if you'd like to look at your map, we'll begin our tour. The site is a bit like a circle with the railway going round the edge. You can see where we are now by the entrance and we're going to start by walking to the high street. We'll go to the crossroads in the middle of the map and go straight on making our way between two buildings on either side of the path. The larger one is an exhibition center. We could the side of the map a place of circular circular the alley the layout key up any railway track up. Did you have any doctor lines in the circle the which alley the way okay railway track up. First of all a packet to start with the entrance to the center of the cross of roads. We will pass the straight path. We will see the other side of the building. The larger building is E. The D is the smallest building. We will see the exhibition center. So, we will see the answer of E. We will see the exhibition center. So, we will see the answer of E. We will see the exhibition center. But it's not open today, unfortunately. The other building is offices. The path leads directly to the high street building, which is at the opposite side of the site to the entrance. The path leads to the high street. The high street is the hint of it directly opposite to the entrance. So they go up to the entrance south, the which is the high street, the which is north, the which is directly opposite. इस करके ला हाई स्ट्रीट डांस रह गया, वो आ गया ए, अपनी हाई स्ट्रीट की है, वो है गया ऑप्शन ए। Here you're free to wander around and take a ride up and down on a tram. We'll then take the path which follows the railway line and crosses it to the farm. If we को अपना गिफ्ट इड ट्रैक का पाथ हाउ फॉलो करना, जिधर रेलवे लाइन नू क्रॉस करता, एक को पाथ है जरा वो क्रॉस कर रहा है रेलवे लाइन नू वे को जरा उस उधर साइड थी ट्री या ते जरा क्रॉस करके किडी बिल्डिंग है वो की आ गया अपनी फार्म हाउस सी ऑप्शन देखो रेलवे ट्रैक नू क्रॉस करके बिल्डिंग आई है हो वो आ गया अपनी ऑप्शन सी वो है क्या फार्म हाउस सो सेवेंटीन आंसर आ गया सी 
Then we cross the railway line again and visit our special attraction, which is the coal mine. It's just in front of us here at the entrance. उत्तर बाद क्या ना अपन द्वारे पाथ हुई फॉलो करके द्वारे रेलवे ट्रैक ऐडो क्रॉस करना देखो ये अपने इड पाथ द्वारे क्रॉस हो रहा ते अपना एच ते आ रहा ये कि अपनी कोल माइन है जिधर बिल्कुल इन फ्रंट ऑफ की दिया एंट्रेंस दे सो अपने इड कोल माइन है वो किधर वो है क्या एच एटीन डांस रह गया एच क्योंकि उन्हें के हेंट भी दसी इन फ्रंट ऑफ एंट्रेंस एच बिल्कुल एंट्रेंस दे सामने हैं सो एटीन डांस रह गया एच वेल रिटर्न टू द क्रॉसरोड्स एंड वॉक थ्रू अ स्मॉल वुडेड एरिया टू द मैनर हाउस दिस इज वन ऑफ द ओरिजिनल बिल्डिंग्स ऑन द साइट एंड बिलोंग टू अ वेल्थी फार्मर ओके उन्हें दोबारा फिर के आप वहां भी कोल माइन तो बाद किथे होना दोबारा क्रॉस ऑफ रोड्स जिथे रोड्स दा क्रॉस पेंदा उदो बाद आप वुडी एरिया दे विच जाना देखो आले वाले ट्रीज ने ता जेड़ा सामने अपनी बिल्डिंग है वो की है मैनोर हाउस सो so, अपना जेड़ा 19 दा आंसर आ गया वो आ गया एफ मैनोर हाउस यू कैन लुक राउंड द हाउस एंड गार्डेंस एंड टॉक टू आवर गाइड्स हु कैन टेल यू व्हाट इट वाज लाइक टू लिव देयर वी विल देन फॉलो अ पाथ which goes past the pond and will take us to the railway station which is situated between the path and the railway line vekho utte baad apne da path follow karna jehda pond pool di janda apne map de utte hai ke na lake oh path follow karna te apan kithe le jao oh path railway station de upar jehda ki a railway track te path de bilkul vichkar hai vekho apa पिक्चर के वेख सकते हैं जो बी ऑप्शन अपना रेलवे ट्रैक से पाप के बिल्कुल विचार सो ट्वेंटी का अपना आंसर आजगा जी वो आजगा बी जो है रेलवे स्टेशन फाइनली विल टेक द स्टीम ट्रेन बैक अराउंड द साइट पासिंग अलोंग साइड द हाई स्ट्रीट एंड द कोल माइन बैक टू द एंट्रेंस सो इफ यू लाइक टू फॉलो मे That is the end of part 2. You now have 30 seconds to check your answers to part Part three. You will hear a conversation between Cressida, a student of journalism, and her tutor, Dr. Erskine, about a work placement that she has recently done. First, you have some time to look at questions twenty-one to twenty-six. जो ट्वेंटी वन टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स है इस अपने अंदर पीपल दते हुए हैं जिम्मे क्रैसीडा फैलो स्टूडेंट क्रैसीडा एंसली वैब डॉक्टर एसकाइन एक साइड दते हुए हैं एटीट्यूड्स आप मैच करना भी उन्होंने कि एटीट्यूड की सूटेबल आ सो आप ऑप्शन पिक करा ए तो लैके एच तक उन्होंने उन्होंने फिट करा ट्वेंटी वन टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स के Now listen carefully and answer questions 21 to 26. Well, Cressida, that was an interesting presentation you gave yesterday on your placement at the TV news center. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Erskin. I did work hard on it. Yeah. Vekho jede de naal Cressida naal jedo tutor hai ohna da oda naam ki hai Dr. Erskin jo apni 24 de front deta hoya Dr. Erskin. Yes, and you did entertain the class. They enjoyed your humour. <laughs> you enjoyed the class. Class ki hogi. Wo the jee Cressida's fellow students ne, jo na jinna ne unnu presentation nu sunya. Ki 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 ta unna ne both entertain ki ta. Idha matlab ki attitude of students da amused. Apna option aagya A. Amused ki hunda. 
अम्यूज इन द फाइंडिंग समथिंग फनी और एंटरटेनिंग क्योंकि उन्होंने जी प्रजेंटेन से बहुत एंटरटेनिंग लगी फनी लगी सो उन्हों का एटीट्यूड की सी अम्यूज सो अपना ट्वेंटी वन का आंसर किया जूगा ए Aren't you informed them too that I felt there was a bit of a back story you know something you weren't telling us so how was it Viko oh professor keh reha hai ki jehdi mainu lagya hai ki something back story si ohde vich kuch jo tu dassna nahi chahundi si kuch hide kita ehda matlab ki si ohne jehda story dassi si oh si ki si gi unrealistic bas waise kadi hui si koi real story nahi si gi so ohne jehdi presentation ditti si ki ditti si oh unrealistic So, twenty-two answer will be H. Really? Yeah. Well, I learned a lot, as I said. Mhm. But I think some of the lessons weren't ones I wanted to share with the whole group. Ah. Oh. I mean, my expectations about what it would be like were too high. I'd been fantasizing a bit about what I'd be doing. I mean, it all worked out okay in the end. But I got off to a bad start. Yes, I heard something similar from the producer, um Ainsley Webb, who assessed your performance. He was quite negative about some of the things you did and your initial attitude, I'm afraid. Veko oh jehda Dr. Eskin oh keh reha hai, ohne vi similar cheezan jehdi suniya si, Ainsley Webb to suniya si kya, kuch ohde bare initial start kita si jehda oh kharab ho gaya si ga, kuch negative comments suniye si utton. तो अपना एटीट्यूड की हो गया फिर एंसली वैब का क्रिटिकल ट्वेंटी थर्ड का आंसर हो गया बी क्रिटिकल की होंगे एक्सप्रैसिंग एडवर्स और डिसअप्रूविंग कमेंट्स और जजमेंट्स कुछ नैगेटिव कमेंट देने या जजमेंट जो नैगेटिव करनी सो एंसली वैब ने भी यही कहा कि जिम्मे वो स्टार्ट से वो बिल्कुल ठीक नहीं हुई सी कुछ थोड़े वो प्रजेंटेन से नैगेटिविटी दिखाई सी सो आप कह सकते भी एटीट्यूड से जो उन्होंने की सी क्रिटिकल ट्वेंटी थ्री का आंसर आ गया क्रिटिकल बी B option. Mm. Would you like to give me your version? I didn't prepare properly is the main thing. On my first morning, I hadn't checked my commuting route properly, and I didn't notice that it says the buses don't start till 6. I <sighs> had to run all the way to the studio, but I was still late and I looked a mess. <sighs> well, better at this stage of your career than later, <sighs> to be honest. I made the same kind of mistakes when I was your age. <laughs> But anyway, as I say, I think the presentation yesterday went extremely well and I will bear that in mind when I grade your work experience overall. Dekho, ye doctor is kind of genial talk chal rahi hai. Wo ki kehna main bhi jive wo kehndi si main late ho gayi si ki bus nahi mili si ki wo kehna mere naal vi eh jadon main tade age si ga mere naal vi bilkul similar cheezan hoyi si par main fir bhi kehna vi एप्रीशिएट करता मैं बहुत वजी लगी जी थोड़ी प्रजेंटेन से जो भी मैं तेन ग्रेड देगा वो आप दे सारे जी थोड़ी प्रजेंटेन वो अपने माइंड के रखूँगा यद मतलब की है उन्हें थोड़ी जी सिम सिंपति शो की आ क्रिसदा की प्रजेंटेन दे सो आप एटीट्यूड की लिखा सिंपथैटिक सो यद ऑप्शन आ गया जी उन्हें सिंपति शो की आ भी सही सी प्रजेंटेन सो यद ऑप्शन आ गया जी ट्वेंटी फोर का आंसर जी थैंक यू फॉर बींग सो अंडरसटैंडिंग Right. Uh, now, have you completed your diary of what you did there? Professor Jenkins hasn't received it, he says. Um, yes, I have finished it, but I wanted to just tidy it up a bit. Some of it was written in a bit of a hurry. Mm. I'll email it to him this afternoon. Okay, but I'm afraid he says this will have to be the last time you submit late. Mm. Journalism is all Rico प्रोफेसर जेनकिन का एटीट्यूड की है इतने वो उन्हें किसी भी डायरी लिखी थी पर उन्हें अजे सबमिट नहीं की थी सो जी प्रोफेसर जेनकिनस ने वार्निंग दी है कि लास्ट वारी आ जो वो लेट सबमिट करा रही है क्योंकि वो हर बार ही लेट सबमिट करवाई है सो यद लास्ट चांस आ इस तो बाद बेयर नहीं करेगा यह मतलब की आ जो प्रोफेसर जेनकिनस आ इमपेसेंट भी थोड़ा जल्दी गुस्से हो जाता थोड़ा जल्दी इरीटेट हो जाता या अनॉयड हो जाता सो उन्हें एटीट्यूड आ गया इमपेसेंट सो ट्वेंटी फाइव आंसर आ गया डी ऑल अबाउट डेडलाइनस एंड इफ यू कॉन्ट मैनेज देम ऑन योर कोर्स ही कॉन्ट गिव यू अ डिप्लोमा सेइंग यू आर कॉम्पिटेंट कैन ही यस आई विल डू इट स्ट्रेट आफ्टर दिस आई डिडंट रियलाइज वेल ही कैन बी अ बिट अब्रप्ट इफ ही इज केप्ट वेटिंग इट्स द वन थिंग ही रियली डजंट लाइक 
I'm sure everything is ਵੇਖੋ ਉਹ ਦੁਆਰੇ ਵੀ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਵੀ ਉਹ ਇਹ ਸਭ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਚਾਹੁੰਦਾ ਉਹ ਲਾਈਕ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਦਾ ਉਹ ਗੁੱਸੇ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਐਂਗਰੀ ਵੀ ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਸੋ ਇਹਦਾ 25th ਦਾ ਆਨਸਰ ਆਊਗਾ ਆਪਣਾ ਇੰਪੇਸ਼ੈਂਟ ਡੀ ਇਟਸ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਫਾਈਨ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਗੈਟਿੰਗ ਵੈਰੀ ਗੁੱਡ ਗ੍ਰੇਡਸ ਔਨ ਯੋਰ ਵਰਕ ਸੋ ਐਸ ਲੌਂਗ ਐਸ ਯੂ ਰਿਮੈਂਬਰ ਥੈਟ ਯੈਸ ਨਾਉ ਡਿਡ ਯੂ ਮੈਨੇਜ ਓਕੇ ਜਨਰਲੀ ਡੂ ਯੂ ਥਿੰਕ ਯਾ ਓਕੇ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ well it took a while to get to grips with all the equipment mm-hmm. some of it was quite old not as fast as what we have here in college and at first i kept thinking it was my fault that i wasn't pressing the right buttons or something <laughs> the thing was none of the tv center staff asked me if i wanted instructions if i asked them how to do some particular operation they were perfectly civil and would show me and even say thank you for what i did do ਵੇਖੋ ਟੀਵੀ ਨਿਊਜ਼ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਸਟਾਫ ਸੀ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੀ ਪੋਲਾਈਟ ਵੇ ਨਾਲ ਗੱਲ ਕੀਤੀ ਉਹਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਜੋ ਵੀ ਕੁਝ ਉਹਨੇ ਪੁੱਛਿਆ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਉਹਦਾ ਆਨਸਰ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਫਿਰ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਵੀ ਕੀਤਾ ਤੇ ਅਨੋਇ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਏ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਉਹ ਵਾਰ-ਵਾਰ ਪੁੱਛ ਰਹੀ ਸੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਸਟਾਫ ਤੋਂ ਪਰ ਉਹ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਪੋਲਾਈਟ ਵੇ ਨਾਲ ਗੱਲ ਕੀਤੀ ਸੋ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਐਟੀਟਿਊਡ ਸੀਗਾ ਕੀ ਸੀਗਾ ਉਹ ਪੋਲਾਈਟ ਟੀਵੀ ਨਿਊਜ਼ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਸਟਾਫ ਦਾ ਐਟੀਟਿਊਡ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਪੋਲਾਈਟ ਸੋ 26 ਦਾ ਆਨਸਰ ਆ ਗਿਆ ਈ but i felt awkward to keep asking before you hear the rest of the conversation you have some time to look at questions 27 to listen and answer questions 27 to 30 now um well let's just review where you are your write up and what you're going to include going forward to next term first of all did you eventually feel you were given enough to do mm, the first couple of days were manic the production team was short of staff and i was rushing all over the building taking messages to various people and fetching things we got 27 de vich puchya vi jehdi what was chris da ask do at the beginning of our placement vi shuru de vich placement de vich unu ki kam ditta gaya si ga oh kar ke ki si ga oh alag alag rooms de vich jandi si oh message convey karde si ik dooje nu kyunki staff di kami si gi so 27 da b aa gaya apna option run errands to other parts of the tv news center ਉਹ ਅਲੱਗ ਅਲੱਗ ਰੂਮਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਸੀ ਅਲੱਗ ਅਲੱਗ ਸੈਂਟਰਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਸੀ ਮੈਸੇਜ ਕਨਵੇ ਦੇ ਕਨਵੇ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਸਟਾਫ ਦੀ ਕਮੀ ਸੀ ਸੋ 27 ਦਾ ਆਨਸਰ ਆ ਗਿਆ ਆਪਣਾ B Of course I didn't know my way around so I kept ending up in some storeroom or somewhere instead of the studio I was meant to be in oh. or I mistook some important visitor for a colleague because I didn't know who anyone was then after that things sort of calmed down So sometimes I was hanging about until someone decided to give me a chore. But I had a piece of luck at the end of the week because they got a new bit of equipment which was the same as we have in the editing suite here. And I Veko ode ch what was the fortunate for Cresida? Ode vi ki luck di ki gall si gi kyunki ohna jehda ik ik equipment leke aanda si ga oh ki si ga familiar si ga Cresida ne kyunki ohne pehla oh vartya hoya si ga so ode layi ek lucky sabt hoya luck di gall si ode layi so 28 da answer aa gaya a she was familiar with the piece of equipment kyunki ohne jehda equipment si pehla vi use kita hoya si ga i knew how to use it which none of them did so that gave me a bit of status unfortunately it meant i spent the next 3 days stuck in the editing suite but by the end i'd shown i wasn't just a silly student So then when the senior reporter needed someone to go out with him when he went to interview a junior minister I got to go along because he knew I could handle the technical side. Well, that's good. Yes. Well, I know I need to learn from my mistakes. I mean, basically I need to think more about forward planning. <laughs> But on the other ਵੇਖੋ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਟੈਕਨੀਕਲ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਦਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਧੀਆ ਸੀਗੀ ਪਰ ਉਹਨੇ ਕੀ ਸੀ ਕੀ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੀ ਸੀ ਕੀ ਇੰਪਰੂਵ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੀ ਸੀ ਆਪਣੀ ਫਾਰਵਰਡ ਪਲੈਨਿੰਗ ਹਰ ਆਰਗੇਨਾਈਜੇਸ਼ਨਲ ਸਕਿੱਲਸ ਆਰਗੇਨਾਈਜੇਸ਼ਨਲ ਸਕਿੱਲਸ ਕੀ ਮੈਂ ਦੇ ਵੀ ਆਪਾਂ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਆਪਣੀ ਆਰਗੇਨਾਈਜੇਸ਼ਨ ਆ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਅੱਗੇ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਜਾਣਾ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਪਾਂ 
ਆਪਣੀ ਸਕਿੱਲਸ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਯੂਜ਼ ਕਰਨੇ ਨੇ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਪਲਾਨ ਕਰਨਾ ਚੰਗੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਸੋ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਹ ਆਪਣੀ ਇੰਪਰੂਵਮੈਂਟ ਵੇਖਣਾ ਇੰਪਰੂਵ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੀ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਇਹ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਆਪਣੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹਰ ਆਰਗੇਨਾਈਜੇਸ਼ਨਲ ਸਕਿੱਲਸ ਨੇ ਇਹ ਇੰਪਰੂਵ ਕਰਨ ਦੀ ਲੋੜ ਆ ਸੋ 29 ਦਾ ਆਨਸਰ ਆ ਗਿਆ B ਅਵਰ ਹੈਂਡ ਆਈ ਫੀਲ ਮਚ ਮੋਰ ਕੰਫੀਡੈਂਟ ਨਾਓ ਆਈ ਡਿਡ ਸਰਵਾਈਵ ਆਈ ਡਿਡਨਟ ਰੂਨ ਐਨੀਥਿੰਗ ਆਈ ਡਿਡ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਮੇਕ ਅ ਕੰਟਰੀਬਿਊਸ਼ਨ ਅਕੋਰਡਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਡਿਊਸਰ one thing i want to take forward to my final assignment though is some reflections on ethics yes mm, i had a bit of an argument with one of the senior presenters he was editing part of an interview and he just changed something someone said ah dekho 30 de vich ki puch rahe ne what has given her an idea for her final assignment jehda final assignment si ohde layi idea nu kitho milya oh kitho milya ਉਹ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕੋਈ ਟੀਵੀ ਰਿਪੋਰਟਰ ਸੀ ਸੀਨੀਅਰ ਟੀਵੀ ਰਿਪੋਰਟਰ ਸੀ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟਰ ਸੀ ਉਹਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਥੋੜੀ ਜੀ ਬਹਿਸ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਸੀ ਆਰਗੂਮੈਂਟ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਸੀ ਸੋ ਸੀ ਆਪਣਾ ਆਪਸ਼ਨ ਆ ਗਿਆ ਇਟ ਡਿਸਐਗਰੀਮੈਂਟ ਉਹਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਡਿਸਐਗਰੀਮੈਂਟ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਸੀਗੀ ਬਹਿਸਬਾਜ਼ੀ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਸੀਗੀ ਜਿਹਦੇ ਕਰਕੇ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਉਹ ਫਾਈਨਲ ਅਸਾਈਨਮੈਂਟ ਦਾ ਆਈਡੀਆ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਸੀਗਾ ਸੋ 30 ਦਾ ਆਨਸਰ ਆ ਗਿਆ ਆਪਣਾ ਸੀ ਇਟ ਡਿਸਐਗਰੀਮੈਂਟ ਵਿਦ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਦੀ ਟੀਵੀ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟਰਸ ਵੈਨ ਆਈ ਕੁਐਸਚਨਡ ਹਿਮ ਹੀ ਜਸਟ ਸਨਬਡ ਮੀ ਆਈ ਮੀਨ this wasn't some public relations expert or government professional spokesperson it was like a member of the public but he said oh they never remember what they said anyway hmm do you want to develop this into part of your final assignment hmm. it would be a very positive line i can give you some references oh thanks that would be great that is the end of part 3 You now have 30 seconds to check your answers to part part 4 You will hear a lecturer talking about the history of the electric guitar. First, you have some time to look at questions 31 to now part 4 from questions 31 to 40 and we have write we have to write one word only so let's start the part 4 now listen carefully and answer questions 31 to 40 during today's lecture in this series about the history of popular music I'm going to look at the different stages the electric guitar went through before we ended up with the instrument we know so well today. The driving force behind the invention of the electric guitar was simply the search for a louder sound. In the late 1890s, Orville Gibson, founder of the Gibson Mandolin Guitar Manufacturing Company, designed a guitar with an arched or curved top as is found on a violin. Vekho 1890s de vich jehda Orville Gibson si ohne ek guitar find kiti si. ਜੀ ਜੀ ਸਿਮਿਲਰ ਸ਼ੇਪ ਸੀ ਕੀ ਜੀ ਬਾਕੀ ਸ਼ੇਪ ਸੀ ਉਹਦੀ ਵਾਇਲਨ ਦੇ ਵਰਗੀ ਉਹ ਐਵੇਂ ਅਰਕ ਸੀ ਐਵੇਂ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਟ੍ਰਿੰਗ ਸੀਗੀਆਂ ਸੋ ਉਹਦੀ ਸ਼ੇਪ ਸੀ ਕੀ ਜੀ ਵਰਗੀ ਸੀ ਵਾਇਲਨ ਵਰਗੀ ਸੋ ਆਪਣਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ 31 ਦਾ ਆਨਸਰ ਆ ਜਾਊਗਾ ਉਹ ਆ ਜਾਊਗਾ ਵਾਇਲਨ ਇਹ ਸਪੈਲਿੰਗ ਹੈਗੇ ਨੇ V I O L I N ਵਾਇਲਨ This made it both stronger and louder than earlier designs but it was still hard to hear amongst other louder instruments During the 1920s with the beginnings of big band music, commercial radio and the rise of the recording industry, the need to increase the volume of the guitar became even more important. Around 1925, John Dapiera came up with a solution. He designed a guitar known as the National Guitar with a metal body which had metal resonating cones built into the top. It produced a brash tone which became popular with guitarists who played blues. 
ਬਟ ਵੇਖੋ 1920 ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜੋਹਨ ਡੁਪੇਰਾ ਨੇ ਇੱਕ ਗਿਟਾਰ ਫਾਉਂਡ ਕੀਤੀ ਜਿਹਦਾ ਨਾਮ ਸੀਗਾ ਦੀ ਨੈਸ਼ਨਲ ਗਿਟਾਰ ਇਹ ਮੈਟਲ ਦੀ ਬਣੀ ਹੋਈ ਸੀ ਗੁੱਡ ਫੋਰ ਪਲੇਇੰਗ ਬਲੂਸ 뮤직 ਇਹ ਇੱਕ ਕੁਲੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਆ 뮤직 ਦੀ ਬਲੂਸ ਟਾਈਪ ਆਫ 뮤직 ਆ ਸੋ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਉਹ ਮੈਟਲ ਦੀ ਗਿਟਾਰ ਬਣਾਈ ਸੀ ਕੀ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਗੁੱਡ ਸੀਗੀ ਉਹ ਕਿਹੜੀ 뮤직 ਦੇ ਲਈ ਬਲੂਸ B L U E S so 32 ਦਾ ਆਨਸਰ ਆ ਗਿਆ ਬਲੂਸ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਅਨਸੂਟੇਬਲ ਫੋਰ ਮੈਨੀ ਅਦਰ ਟਾਈਪਸ ਆਫ 뮤직 another way of increasing the volume was thought of in the 1930s the cf martin company became known for its dreadnought a large flat top acoustic guitar that used steel strings instead of the traditional gut ones ਦੇਖੋ 1930s ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੱਕ ਗਿਟਾਰ ਬਣਾਈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੀ ਸੀ ਸਟ੍ਰਿੰਗਸ ਦੀਆਂ ਕਾਰੀਆਂ ਬਣੀਆਂ ਹੋਈਆਂ ਸੀ ਸਟੀਲ ਦੀਆਂ ਸੋ 33 ਦਾ ਆਨਸਰ ਆ ਗਿਆ ਸਟੀਲ ਸਟ੍ਰਿੰਗਸ ਮੇਡ ਆਫ ਸਟੀਲ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਵਾਈਡਲੀ ਇਮਿਟੇਟਡ ਬਾਈ ਅਦਰ ਮੇਕਰਸ these mechanical fixes helped but only up to a point so guitars began to look at the possibilities offered by the new field of electronic amplification what guitar players needed was a way to separate the guitar's sound and boost it in isolation from the rest of a band or the surroundings guitar makers and players began experimenting with electrical pickups which are the main means of amplification used today The first successful one was invented in 1931 by George Beecham. He introduced to the market a guitar known as the frying pan. Dekho 1931 de vich George Beecham apne ki si ik guitar leke aandi jida naam ki si ga frying pan. So 34 da answer aa gaya frying. F R Y I N G frying. Because the playing area consisted of a small round disc. The guitar was hollow and was made of aluminum and steel. He amplified the sound by using a pair of horseshoe shaped magnets. It was the first ki si de vich used two magnets shaped like horseshoes. Ede vich ki si gaya do magnets si gaya jinna di shape ki si si ki horseshoe de vargi si. So 35 da answer aa jayega magnets. M A G N E T S ਕਿਉਂਕਿ 2 ਪਲੂਰਲ ਆ ਗਿਆ ਸੋ ਆਪਾਂ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਐਸ ਲਾਉਣਾ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਆ ਤਾਂ ਕੀ ਆ ਜੂਗਾ ਮੈਗਨੈਟਸ ਕਮਰਸ਼ੀਅਲੀ ਸਕਸੈਸਫੁਲ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰਿਕ ਗਿਟਾਰ ਸੋ ਬਾਈ ਦਾ ਮਿਡ 1930ਸ ਐਨ ਐਂਟਾਇਰਲੀ ਨਿਊ ਕਾਂਡ ਆਫ ਸਾਊਂਡ ਵਾਸ ਬੋਰਨ ਯੈਟ ਅਲੋਂਗ ਵਿਦ ਇਟਸ ਬੈਨੀਫਿਟਸ ਦਾ ਨਿਊ ਟੈਕਨੋਲੋਜੀ ਬ੍ਰੋਟ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮਸ ਦਾ ਟ੍ਰੈਡੀਸ਼ਨਲ ਹਾਲੋ ਬਾਡੀ ਆਫ ਅ ਗਿਟਾਰ ਕਾਜ਼ ਡਿਸਟੋਰਸ਼ਨ ਇਨ ਫੀਡਬੈਕ ਵੈਨ ਕੰਬਾਈਨਡ ਵਿਦ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੋਮੈਗਨੈਟਿਕ ਪਿਕਅਪਸ Musicians and manufacturers realized that a new kind of guitar should be designed from scratch with amplification in mind. In 1935, Adolf Rickenbacker produced a guitar which took his name, the Rickenbacker Electro Spanish. It was the first guitar produced in plastic. 1930 de vich Adolf Rickenbacker ne ek guitar banayi ke kadi bani hui si guitar oh plastic di. The guitar made guitar made from plastic. So 36 na answer aa jayega apna plastic. which because of its weight vibrated less readily than wood it eliminated the problems of earlier versions which were plagued by acoustic feedback the electro spanish had its own problems however because it was very heavy smaller than other guitars of the period and was quite awkward to play developments continued and in 1941 les paul made a guitar which he called the log and true to its name it was totally solid 1941 ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਲੈਸ ਪੌਲ ਨੇ ਇੱਕ ਗਿਟਾਰ ਬਣਾਈ ਕਿਹੜੀ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਕੰਪਲੀਟਲੀ ਸੋਲਿਡ ਸੀਗੀ ਫਸਟ ਗਿਟਾਰ ਸੀਗੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਸੋਲਿਡ ਸੀ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਇਹ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਗਿਟਾਰ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਜਾਂ ਤਾਂ ਅੰਦਰੋਂ ਹੋਲੋ ਸੀਗੀਆਂ ਖਾਲੀ ਸੀਗੀਆਂ ਜਾਂ ਅੱਧੀਆਂ ਖਾਲੀਆਂ ਸੀ ਜਾਂ ਸਾਰੀ ਖਾਲੀ ਸੀਗੀਆਂ ਪਰ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਇਹ ਗਿਟਾਰ ਬਣਾਈ ਸੀ ਲੈਸ ਪੌਲ ਨੇ 1941 ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਹ ਸੀ ਕੰਪਲੀਟਲੀ ਸੋਲਿਡ ਸੀ ਸਾਰੀ ਸੋਲਿਡ ਸੀਗੀ ਸੋ ਇਹ 37 ਦਾ ਆਨਸਰ ਆ ਗਿਆ ਸੋਲਿਡ all previous guitars had been hollow or partly hollow it looked slightly strange but the next step had been made towards the modern electric guitar the first guitar successfully produced in large numbers was made in 1950 by leo fender his spanish style electric guitar known as a fender broadcaster had a bolt on neck and was initially criticized by competitors as being very simple and lacking in craftsmanship yet it was immediately successful and was particularly suited to mass production spurring other guitar companies to follow fender's lead ਵੇਖੋ 1950 ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਲੀ ਫੈਂਡਰ ਨੇ ਇੱਕ ਗਿਟਾਰ ਬਣਾਈ ਜੋ ਬੜੀ ਜੋ ਕਾਫੀ ਸਿੰਪਲ ਸੀਗੀ ਤੇ ਇਸੇ ਸਿੰਪਲੀ ਸਿੰਪਲਿਸਿਟੀ ਦੇ ਕਾਰਨ ਕੀ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਡਕਸ਼ਨ ਹੋਈ ਮਾਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਡਕਸ਼ਨ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਗਿਟਾਰਸ ਉਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਬਣੀਆਂ ਸੋ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਕੀ ਆ 38 ਦਾ ਆਨਸਰ ਆ 
ਮਾਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਡਕਸ਼ਨ ਉਹਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਗਿਟਾਰ ਸੀ ਇੰਨੀ ਸਿੰਪਲ ਸੀਗੀ ਉਹਦੀ ਮਾਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਡਕਸ਼ਨ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਗਿਟਾਰਸ ਬਣਾਈਆਂ ਗਈਆਂ ਸੋ 38 ਦਾ ਆਨਸਰ ਆ ਗਿਆ ਮਾਸ In 1951, Leo Fender revolutionized the music world yet again when he produced an electric bass guitar. This was the first commercially successful bass model to be played like a guitar. It was easier for players to hit an exact note. That's why it was called the precision. 1951 de vich Leo Fender ne dwara fer jehdi guitar invent kiti jida naam rakhya da precision. Ede spelling hai ki ne P R E C I S I O N precision so 39 dance ra gaya precision Although there had already been electric stand up basses this was much more portable It is now standard in the lineup of any rock band and some historians suggest that entire genres of music such as reggae and funk could not exist without it In 1952 the Gibson company became Fender's first major competitor when Ted McCarty created the Gibson Les Paul guitar It was distinctive because it was colored gold. Deku 40 de vich jehda answer aa gaya apna ho gaya gold. Kyunki 1950 de tu vich 1952 de vich Ted McCarty ne ek guitar banayi. O thodi dujja no different si gi kyunki oda color ki si ga gold. So jehda 40 da answer aa gaya o aayega gold. The reason for this was to disguise the fact that it was made from two different kinds of wood. In 1954, Leo Fender responded to this successful instrument by introducing the Fender Stratocaster. It is easily identified by its double cutaway design and three pickups. This model may be the most influential electric guitar ever produced. The modern guitar as we know it was here to stay. That is the end of part 4. You now have 1 minute to check your answers to part 4. ਸੋ ਇਟਸ ਦੀ ਐਂਡ ਆਫ ਦੀ ਲਿਸਨਿੰਗ ਸੋ ਮੈਂ ਉਮੀਦ ਕਰਦਾ ਕਿ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਨਸਰਸ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਚੰਗੀ ਡਿਟੇਲ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਪਤਾ ਲੱਗ ਗਏ ਹੋਣੇ ਐਂਡ ਤੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਦੇਖ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਆਪਣਾ ਪਾਰਟ 4 ਸੀਗਾ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੀ ਸੀਗਾ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਪਾਰਟ ਸੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੀ ਸੀਗਾ ਈਅਰਸ ਦਿੱਤੇ ਹੋਏ ਸੀਗੇ ਸੋ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੀ ਆਪਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਹੈਲਪ ਹੋ ਸਕਦੀ ਆ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਆਪਣੀ ਰਿਕਾਰਡਿੰਗ ਉਹ ਕੈਚ ਕਰਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਮਦਦ ਮਿਲਦੀ ਹੈ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਜਦੋਂ ਵੀ ਉਹ ਈਅਰ ਬੋਲਦਾ ਆਪਾਂ ਉਸੇ ਟਾਈਮ ਕਈ ਵਾਰ ਕੀ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਆਪਾਂ ਸਕਿਪ ਕਰ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਹੁੰਨੇ ਆ ਤਾਂ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਈਅਰ ਤੋਂ ਪਤਾ ਲੱਗ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਵੀ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਰਿਕਾਰਡਿੰਗ ਚੱਲ ਰਹੀ ਆ ਸੋ ਆਪਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਈਅਰ ਦੀ ਥੋੜੀ ਜੀ ਹੈਲਪ ਮਿਲ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਆ ਕਿ ਆਪਾਂ ਰਿਕਾਰਡਿੰਗ ਨੂੰ ਕੈਚ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਆ ਜੇ ਕਈ ਵਾਰੀ ਆਪਣਾ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਸਕਿਪ ਹੋ ਜੇ ਸੋ ਸਟੂਡੈਂਟਸ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਆਲ ਫੋਰ ਟੂਡੇ ਆਈ ਅਗੇਨ ਰਿਕਵੈਸਟ ਟੂ subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you can get the latest notifications as we post the latest material of IELTS and PTE on our channel so thanks students have a nice day